Hello, welcome to another video on my channel. This is going to be the first in a new series where I look at the UK ratings, the UK viewing figures for Doctor Who and provide some analysis. Now, uh, yesterday, Monday the 1st of July, we were uh, provided with the plus seven rating for Empire of Death, the final episode in the eight episode series of uh, Doctor Who that's just broadcast. So in this short video, I'm going to look at uh, each of those episodes and the plus seven ratings that they have achieved. And then in future videos, I'll go into analyzing, comparing and seeing what all these numbers actually mean. So to start off, we're going to look at series 14, series one, season 40, however you want to call it, the 2024 series of Doctor Who uh, broadcast on BBC One and available on the BBC iPlayer. And these are the plus seven ratings in the UK for those uh, channels and uh, that streaming service. So to start with, we had a two part season opener, if you will. Space Babies and the Devil's Chord. Now, all these numbers, these charts are provided by the Broadcasters uh, Audience Research Board, the BARB. So they come directly from uh, the body that looks at these numbers and is uh, in place purely to count how many viewers each program has over the course of a week. So Space Babies uh, reached number 10 in the chart of the most watched uh, things on television in the UK for uh, the week. And it got 4.01 million viewers or to be more accurate, uh, 4,008,000 viewers. The Devil's Chord, the second episode of the series, which was broadcast immediately after on BBC One, uh, reached a total of 3,909,000 or 3.91 million viewers. Now, to clarify, this plus seven number includes all of those who watched the episode of Doctor Who on BBC One as it was broadcast. It includes all of those people who watched it on the BBC iPlayer after it was broadcast on BBC One. And unlike other series of Doctor Who, we also have a pre-transmission. So before Doctor Who was screened on BBC One on the Saturday night, it had been available on the iPlayer from midnight that Saturday morning. So there was about, you know, in this case, 18 and a half hours or so where uh, Doctor Who was available to watch in advance on the iPlayer. So this cumulative number, this 4.01 million or 3.91 uh, 3 million, however you want to uh, describe those numbers, uh, those numbers are based on pre-transmission, BBC One transmission and post BBC One transmission. So not just those who engaged in the BBC iPlayer to watch the episode, but those who used a digital set top box, for example, recorded the episode as it was transmitted and then watched it at some point over the seven days uh, that followed. Our third episode of the series was Boom. And this uh, saw Doctor Who place 18th in the chart with a drop in our viewership, but it brought it to just over three and a half million viewers. So 3.579 or 3.58 million viewers. You might have seen that number quoted, but 3.579 million, 3,579,000 viewers watched Doctor Who, boom, the third episode of this series. Following that was 73 yards. This placed at number 12 with an increase in our viewership and took Doctor Who back over the 4 million mark. So 4,059,000 uh, viewers watched 73 yards. Dot and Bubble was our next episode. Unfortunately, this saw a, a sharp drop and our viewership for Doctor Who dropped to 3,383,000 viewers, uh, placing it 24th in the chart. Now, again, in future videos, I'll have a, uh, a look at what these chart positions mean and compare it to other chart positions, etc. Uh, but for the time being, we'll just take the number for Dot and Bubble, 3.38 million viewers. Rogue, our uh, British-inspired uh, episode of Doctor Who, that placed at number 14, with just uh, ticking over 3.5 million viewers. So 3,521,000 viewers watched 
uh, the next episode of Dog 2, episode 6, Rogue. Uh, this was uh, less viewers than Have I Got News For You, The Great British Sewing Bee, episodes of Coronation Street and Emmerdale. Uh, again, we'll have a look at chart positions and uh, the kind of uh, analysis on the chart in a future video. But for now, 3.52 uh, was our consolidated plus seven rating for Rogue in the UK. Now our penultimate episode, The Legend of Ruby Sunday. Uh, this is where uh, the European Football Championship starts to come in. As you can see, position 12. Uh, a lot of the slots in the top 10 in this chart were dictated by the football uh, as that had started up. Um, but Doctor Who placing at 19, just under three and a half million, so 3.4 four nine six million viewers so three million four hundred ninety six thousand uh viewers watched doctor who the legend of ruby sunday on the iplayer on transmission or on some sort of digital recording box of some sort and then finally the empire of death this is our most recent figure so uh yesterday this figure was released and this chart was published and the empire of death uh our finale episode got a grand total of 3,694,000 viewers uh, for our series finale. So this chart shows uh, our, our journey over the series as it, as it were. So we can see that initial drop from Space Babies to the Devil's Chord, dropping further for Boom, and then 73 yards has a, has a sharp peak probably an outlier given our current trend then is for dot and bubble to go back down again and drop below the figure that boom had got and then our figures recover rogue legend of ruby sunday fairly consistent at around three and a half million with a initial uh interest an increase in our interest for empire of death bringing us close to 3.7 million now this uh chart is a uh, collation of all the plus seven ratings since 2005 so uh, in the classic era there was no such thing as uh, plus seven ratings you watch the program on transmission and that was the only number that was recorded now obviously in the modern day we get this plus seven figure which brings into play things like the iPlayer those who record and watch afterwards etc and this is why we get plus seven numbers for 2005 onwards unfortunately our lowest rated plus seven numbers all are from this series with the exception of legend of the sea devil so as you can see eight of the bottom nine are episodes from this series and as we've seen dot and bubble was the lowest with 3.38 million viewers as our plus seven rating so uh, not a great place for doc two to be this final chart then uh, just collates a combination of our overnight number and the difference to get to our plus seven rating so uh, the blue block at the bottom for each uh, episode is the overnight rating so the number of people watching doctor who at the time it is transmitted on bbc one so uh, our peak was 73 yards at 2.62 million viewers um, and our low unfortunately the penultimate episode legend of ruby sunday with 2.02 million viewers we'll come back and have a look at our overnights uh, and make some comparisons and do some analysis about those in a future video but just to demonstrate that the overnight rating clearly does matter because the bulk of our plus seven number is coming from our overnight rating again we'll break this down a little bit further in future videos but just to highlight the point that if we take into consideration our overall plus seven number related to our overnight number then the difference is largely made up of that overnight number. This is why transmission on BBC One remains so important. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. As I say, future videos to come, breaking down the Doctor Who uh, series ratings and uh, trying to make sense of all these numbers that you've no doubt seen in lots of other places. So again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.